this time on Tornado Titans. Wild. Tornado possibly developing. That's suspicious, isn't it? But we continue, look at this up here. Oh my goodness, look at that storm. This storm uh, continues to take shape right here in central New Mexico. Amazing tower, look at that rock hard all the way up. Beautiful anvil spreading out. So I think this one, I still wanna stay up here, I think. My, I am just torn, but I think staying up here, it might be just me being lazy too, but it feels pretty good to be lazy some days. But man, the low cloud bases are low, we'll see, we'll see. Rachel and the team didn't have to go far today. It's barely noon, and a supercell with golf ball size hail has formed. We'll see if it, there's definitely some rotation in this one. I can see it. So we got some rotation in this wall cloud. This is really cool. I mean, I don't know if you can see it visually. It's probably just pretty imperceptible to you, but. I am literally watching this, the whole storm rotate, which is just wild to see. Rotation in the storm is increasing, and the National Weather Service issues a tornado warning. This would normally be an exciting development for the team, but this storm is about to move into a 60-mile-long road hole. It may be out of reach for hours. Heading south uh, through Estancia, New Mexico, we got to get south a little further so we can then get east. Uh, New Mexico is notoriously sparse on the road network. Uh, there are no roads basically south of this storm that go east until you get down here another 10 miles or so. That's just the nature of how this goes. Structure's not great. I would say that storm structure, very low end, but that's okay because this year has been full of amazing storm structure, not full of amazing daytime tornadoes. And that's what I was going for today. The initial supercell the storm chasers were following has been on a slow weakening trend. But this day is just beginning. A promising new cell is coming off of the mountains. You just never know with these things. We are at 6,500 feet elevation, 7,000 feet, so uh, certainly would be a would be a big deal. Yeah, clearly an RFD cut working into this thing now. These RFDs kicking around the mezzo. So this is gonna cycle through. We'll see if it does it here. This storm just tried to produce a tornado, but failed. With the supercell to the north looking much weaker, the team commits fully to the photogenic cell to their west. Now we're in a recycling phase. It's currently trying to recycle. Right in there. Let's see if it can give it a go. The crickets are out. Yeah, we got stiff east-southeast winds, and they've been that way all day. This storm is struggling to organize in the low levels. As the storm moves overhead, a new problem emerges. Large hail. I just do not know. Radar and see what's going on. Now we're watching a storm right now, try, trying to uh, do its very wet best to produce a tornado. It's, uh, I'm not saying it's a great effort, I'm just saying it, it is indeed an effort. There is an effort here. Yeah, this thing's moving southeast, that's what's happening, and then there's some hail overhanging it. So, it did its best, and, oh god, that one was bigger. Big hailstones. Actually, these aren't too big anymore. We're gonna have to go back through that big patch, I think. The rear flank downdraft is cutting into the updraft. This storm is once again trying, but failing to produce a tornado. As large hail continues to fall on the team, the decision is made to make a dramatic move east to try to emerge out of the overhanging hail core. This storm is now producing a large but weak cone tornado. 
Unfortunately, it is miles away, but the team has a good view regardless. The rear flank downdraft has wrapped completely around the tornado. It's now invisible to storm chasers. Oh, this thing had tried three times and finally the fourth time it did it. So we'll see what happens here in the next little bit and see if it can actually uh, get over the hump again. So we'll see. Oh, 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 dang, right over here. Oh no, stop. Wild, tornado possibly developing. Tornado! Running out of card space. Oh no, this is this is bad. Real, real, real bad. That's an anti-cyclonic tornado, I'm pretty sure. Okay, we're watching this storm right now, HP Supercell. Uh, very strong, actually, uh, uh, the hill core is actually getting a lot more filled in. Uh, this thing right here uh, has had a couple of tornadoes on it so far. Uh, watching inside that roof like downdraft, that wet area, the, it would be rain wrapped right now. Seeing if that, something pops out of there. I keep seeing like shapes that look conical, so maybe, you know, there could be some a cone happening up in there, but... After producing a couple of tornadoes, the storm the team has been documenting seems to be breathing its last. This is evidenced by the flat base and shrinking storm width. It's time to find a new storm or be done with the chase. Wow, what a day, right? Uh, supercells on top of supercells, tornadoes, hail. I mean, this was a really good chase day. This was a four out of five type of chase day. Um, it's hard to beat days like today. This is good reason why you chase uh so, sun's starting to set got some more storms up the road i don't know if we're gonna go after them or not uh just honestly trying to get home at this point i'm beat and i could probably use a day of being in a coma <laughs> and just not doing anything so uh gonna look at tomorrow i don't know what it's gonna do i don't know if it's worth it or not but today was good Good, solid day. After a successful storm chase, there's no time to celebrate. Tomorrow brings a new risk of severe storms and tornadoes to New Mexico. The chase continues.